Okay, so this is all I have left is this PDF. That's it. But I need this content. I can go ahead and recreate this PDF in, uh, in InDesign, and it won't take me that long in this case, one page. But here's a perfect example. It was much easier for me to just take this PDF instead of trying to edit it in Acrobat and, you know, hack it back into something else I could use. I want to use this same layout, the same format, but then changing, you know, logo content to be for another product. Well, for this product, actually. Let me show you how I did that. So what we do, we go over into InDesign here, in this case CS5, and we go to PDF to DTP, and as we saw, we go to Convert PDF. Pretty much that simple. You then select the PDF you want to convert, which will be this Q to ID marketing brochure, and we click the Open here. Pretty much that simple. You see in seconds, the file is converted. Now, there is some small touching up to do. It's a fact of life from going from a scrambled PDF, a PDF which scrambles the information chaotically throughout the file format. But you see, it's quite easy, simple things to do. And we'll be improving this all along the way, of course. Q to ID logo anymore. So I went in and placed the PDF logo. Just place that there. Let me get that. And I come over here, of course, and we change the text to be indicative of Well, you get the idea. This is what we did, and here's what we finally got out of it. I obviously saved this out, and you know, you can save out anything you've converted. Just you know, file, save as. It's that easy. And here's what I got. Go to open recent. I'll find it right here. So at the same exact file I I converted. I went in and and did some touching up, removing the Q to ID logo and some other things and did some adjusting to the layout but effectively this is what we have now old content in this case just a, you know a simple example of a layout I wanted to keep a general format of and some general text I wanted to reuse that I can then repurpose for a new product in this case or perhaps you want to repurpose the entire content and just add new images or you want to keep the same images but add new content. So it's that easy with PDF to DTP from Marksware. Let's drop this PDF onto FlightCheck. You just drop it onto the FlightCheck flight strip and FlightCheck will start to check the file. So let's see what's in that PDF and compare it to what we get in the converted file with PDF to DTP. But what you see right away is this PDF was originally a Illustrator file which is quite interesting. In general we see uh, the fonts used and that's where I really want to look deeper in. Let's now go in and convert that file again with PDF to DTP. There we go. Now there is a little problem here. This EPS, uh, the vector uh, illustrator contents gets a little bit uh, messed up and that's something these are items we're addressing but it doesn't matter in this case we just get rid of it in any event what I want to look at here is some particular elements okay so which font is used up here Futura heavy and we go back over to flight check and we'll see indu indeed we have here Futura Heavy but in general what I want you to see here is that the conversion is bringing over all stylization font sizes colors trapping layers when applied correctly into the PDF everything's coming over 
which is really the, the great handy part about PDF to DTP is that it will save a ton of time. So there might be a couple little touching ups to do, but in general, this is quite an amazing tool. If you don't have fonts, we can also substitute missing fonts. You'll see we have clicked on to convert everything, character styles, paragraph styles, the bleed, even pasteboard items, etc. And this will all be saved and images extracted out into the default folder. And you can change that to be somewhere else if you, if you wish. You can have this pop up every time before converting and you can convert just a certain page range. For instance, if you have a huge PDF, it can take a little bit longer to convert. So maybe you only need, you know, page 50 through 100, you just you convert page range. And just to give you an idea, let's, uh, let's back out of this file here. Let's open another file here. Now you're talking about files which will be multi-paged. And when you have a multi-page file, it quickly gets very advantageous to rather convert than create a new. So now you see when you have fonts that are not available, you might want to better substitute them. Those preferences in PDF to DTP can change the conversion drastically, so you'll want to tinker with those if you have odd results. Look at that. Fantastic way to get content from PDF files right into InDesign with Marshware's PDF to DTP. And we cruise on over into our uh, user folder in the documents folder and then in there we'll get a PDF to DTP folder. And inside of there we get both of our different versions of PDF to DTP and in the InDesign folder you'll see the the files I've recently converted and there's the Q to ID file. Now this is a vector based file so uh, it converts a bit differently but if I look in some of the other files we converted what you'll see is we extract out all of the images along with creating a new layout for that file. We showed you just this file a moment ago as well. Incredible! the amount of time and money this tool will save you just just by extracting these images alone not to mention of course the uh, the getting the file themselves back so really quite an amazing feat this PDF to DTP is providing and uh, I'm, I'm quite certain you'll also find it very useful it's the hammer you must have in your toolbox to help bring order out of chaos, to get PDF files which are chaotic in format internally and salvage them out into something you can use, namely InDesign. If you need more information on Marksware's PDF to DTP, cruise on over to marksware.com forward slash products forward slash PDF to DTP. There you'll get more demonstration videos, features and benefits, a full description, demo download, and of course just some requirements. PDF to DTP from Marksware, a fantastic way to open and edit PDF files within InDesign or even Quark. Thank you, David Dilling from Marksware, signing off.